Thank you, Carrie, and good morning, everyone. Since March 17, the news of mills closing has been sitting heavy on my heart, and I am in a state of disbelief and extraordinary heartbreak. Yet the reality is that the college is preparing to close its doors. I speak today on behalf of the intersectional anti-racism team, a cross-divisional effort that has brought together faculty, staff, administrators, and students to create a community where all identities and voices are heard. At Mills, I have taught in the most racially and economically diverse classrooms and have spent endless hours engaging with students, faculty, community leaders, and social change makers. I'm deeply grateful for my students who showed me how joyful my work can be and I've been rewarded by seeing our graduates use their energy, talent, and intelligence to pursue social justice in concrete ways in their own fields. As someone who's been part of the Mills community for 10 years, I've seen firsthand how the work that we've been doing across campus has improved classroom climate, cultivated inclusive leadership, and elevated the voices of those who have suffered most from systems of oppression. In my role as associate professor of business, I understand the financial reality that the board is addressing. Mills has never had significant resources and the vast majority of students do not come from privilege. Yet, despite its financial difficulties, Mills has always been a place where many could truly flourish. I urge the trustees to pause, ponder and reflect on these questions. How can Mills influence structural changes that lead to better societal outcomes when the future is an institute with no students, a handful of faculty, and a vision that has yet to be developed? In the last year, we've seen more examples of the ongoing violence against people of color, and the pandemic has had a disproportionate impact on communities of color at a time of strong political tensions. How can we ensure that the work to repair the economic and professional harms caused by the multiple crisis will continue to have a place at Mills when in fact we are closing our academic programs and developing under-resourced teach-up plans? To conclude, what makes Mills a special place is its commitment to women's education and values of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And I wonder how those principles will fit into how we reinvent and reimagine Mills College. I urge you to look at the number of lives impacted by this closure and create a path that gives us a real chance to continue the work that is so near and dear to our hearts. A real chance to continue to foster women's leadership and advance gender and racial equity as we write the next chapter in Ms. history. Ms. is a gem that is too precious to lose and the hard work for the board is now to devote the energy, creativity, human and financial resources to develop and implement a sustainable strategy that truly supports students and carries on the values in this testimony. I hope that can happen. Thank you for listening today.